Hello and welcome back to Vampire. So, we killed Mary, she's probably not coming back, but we are still looking for a cure to... Not really the Spanish flu, but vampirism. And we are looking for our master. Now we need to talk to Lady Ashbury and read our mail. <clears throat> Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we all know we we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Priven has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they have uh, been actively searching and killing any econ they can locate. But isn't that basically just trying to solve an epidemic by murdering everybody? who's potentially infected. <clears throat> Lord Redgrave, a chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wished to meet you he wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Your friend, Lady Ashbury. Okay. First, let's just check out uh, the bed. Can we unlearn? Can we unlearn skills? I don't think so. I'm not sure this, this is how the game works. I don't think we can unlearn skills. So, we had a problem in the boss fight. And I don't really have syringes. Uh, that could have helped. Hard biting. I think most of all we need more blood when we bite. That that was helpful. A little bit more blood is a uh, is a bit pointless. That's not gonna like maximum blood is not gonna help too much in a, a fight. Maximum health, I think that helps. But the thing is, 100 health is actually uh, rather minor because we have 730 right now. So getting 50 health is actually just uh, very, very, very minor. Uh, uh, upgrade. Yeah, 150 health. Like, do we get 150 health? I don't think so. It just... Nah, this is just a, shows the overall bonus. So we will get 50 more health. Which is nice, but... Not necessarily worth 600 points nice. <clears throat> also, I mostly use my blood to heal. So, do we need lower recovery time? You trade the instant health gain for a greater regeneration. But the instant health gain is the best. You trade more blood to heal yourself instantly. And gain additional boost to your health regeneration. That seems like the the one to go for. It, but it's two thousand points. That's that's a lot. Also, we don't have spring. I also have this coagulation. But do I wanna? Wow, ten seconds control every twenty seconds. That's that's significant. More than. Tw 2 seconds control, that'd be 20 seconds. What is this? We gain blood for doing it. Um, that's not bad too. 20 blood gain. Okay. So, coagulation seems pretty good. Shadow Veil, that's more like sneaking around. Actually, I, I don't have that at all. The ultimate... It doesn't go up significantly. Also... Considering how rarely we can use it, it's not too relevant. The stamina is good. More blood for biting is pretty good. Maybe we can go with blood barrier, we already have that. What is this? When barrier disappears, it explodes, deals damage to anyone nearby. Uh, makes it recover much faster. For f 5 seconds, it 
it absorbs yeah free for eight seconds it absorbs free for 10 seconds it absorbs free but of course the cooldown goes down so that's something I guess we can go for uh, this one heal is pretty damn important uh, yeah and maybe more blood for biting that seems pretty relevant for 600 I do quite a bit of biting yeah 20% more for 900 I don't know should I go with blood barrier actually it's uh, we can do it more heal and using bites in combat I guess we can put put one point into that more syringes but thing is can we actually have good syringes that's really pricey so I don't know if you're gonna go for that more health I think is how much health is that I don't think it's gonna matter too much I think I like the, the big thirst more because uh, we do some biting in combat Max self is good. I don't know. No, 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 no. More heal for biting, harder biting. Well, we kind of have that already. So we can get 150% damage boost on our bites for 600. Then 100% boost for another 600. Then 200% boost for 1000. I suppose that's gotta be just fine now. I can go with the big thirst. Or body condition. A little bit more health. And uh, maybe a, a little bit more heal when using biting combat. That's really minor. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, no, no, no. Let's confirm it. The following night? Sure. So, how high level am I? 17. That's still not that good. What about my health? It only went up a little bit. 810? Wait. Yeah, that's really not a lot. Blood supply. Use revolver. Life regen serum. Maybe we can make some of those. Uh, yeah, we have components to craft the medicine, treatment the serum. Okay. Can we... Recyclable? Um, okay, can I just craft a serum? Stamina regeneration rate by 50% faster for 15 seconds. Okay, regenerate 60 blood points instantly. That's actually a better than the heal. Because this is 450 heal, but for this we can heal a lot more. I should have been for the... we can carry more serums. Uh, one. Can I craft more of them? No, I can only craft two. I don't care about that. Wait, how many serums I can have? I can have two. Okay. I, I have two times two. So maybe that's actually a good one. Anyway, uh... I need to, to check out. Yeah, analyze. Oh. Well, I guess we have better ones now. 100 points instantly. Just for the tough fights. Those are the good serums. Antidote. Man, uh, stamina regen is good. 
but like this saves you this saves you too stamina okay I think it's stamina also only regenerates when you're not fighting. I'm not sure that's really that good. I, li I like these ones. Blood serum, that that's really good. Can we just equip them? Like, just in case we get into a... Like, don't get me wrong, we're not gonna use that. Whoa, can I just use two blood serums? Nice. But apparently we can't craft uh, more. So, that's it. Anyway, uh, let's go outside. It's locked, all right. I think it is. Like, it's not gonna help us for the regular fights, having uh, more serums, but it's gonna help us potentially for the tough fights. Why is this place empty? Hey there, Dorothy. This place is awfully empty. Do you have some good stuff now? Good evening, Milton. Good Milton? evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Yep. I'd Why like not? to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Why well, you keep telling me that? Ooh. Good handle part. Good trigger part. Good handle part. I want that. I plan to upgrade my main weapon, but I don't think we have the resources for it at this point. We need two more good handle parts. Yeah. Seems like you do a lot of upgrading in this game. And crafting. So we need to go to Ladies Ashbury's estate. New dialogue available at Dr. Swansea. Let's just talk to him. We're here. Maybe he has something good to say. And even if not, we're just gonna say hi. To be fair, at this point, the least I can do is just talk to him. He hired us as a physician, doctor, and uh, guess what we do? Nothing. <laughs> oh, you here? I didn't see anything Jonathan, when I came in. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. <laughs> the situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. Good boss, I like it. Uh, I got a letter from Lady Ashbury. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. About the quarantine? Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. I see. Up in West End? What news do you bring? What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. That's pretty surprising. 
keep killing them all. About the epidemic? How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. I see. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. Mm. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? <laughs> Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. That's great! Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. But to be fair, I think I'm useful to this hospital. But I'm not strictly as a, a doctor at this point. I'm, I'm very flexible. I'm kind of like a, a fixer, assassin. Um, well, doctor too, I suppose I'm working on the epidemic, but not on a day-by-day -day basis, treating the patients. I'm more of the big picture guy around here. So how do we go there? <clears throat> Should I kill those guys? Hey, why you hurt me? Oh Christ! Alright, let's go for a snack. Come on, get stunned. Poor guy. Did this heal bad? Because it seems to heal for less now. health do I have? So I get some instant healing from it and also some heal over time. But isn't that like a worse scale now? I don't know. Uh-oh. Hey, devil. Nice of you to show up. I don't have time to talk. See you later. Oh. If you insist. Never mind that. What's up? You must prepare, child. For the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away. Whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my child. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I'm not your champion. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Yeah, zip it, demon. I don't have time I'm for this. Tired of all these puppet shows. So this district is stable, apparently. Well, I don't know. Apparently my definition of stable is different. What's up with the vampires right here? They even teleport. I need 
some stamina. Stop with the jumping. So, let's go for here. Do I have the HP regen? Because my health doesn't seem to go up. After the initial heal. That actually costs more now. It's pretty terrible. Can I just own learn skills? What's up, Pantsy Pants? I'm gonna go inside. They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. I'm not gonna step over barrels. Fuck all of them. Okay. So I guess we assume that he took her as a blood bag. This is a stable territory. Oh, he, he's the lead. Seriously? You wanna fight with me as well? Big time! What the hell is that? Snack type number two. I think does seem to give health regen. All right. Shillings. So Lady Ashbury is somewhere around here. I have to say you're living in a pretty crappy neighborhood. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house. Let me in. Can I ride one of those uh, stone uh, lions? I guess that's one thing we're gonna ask. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. You I painter? did not know you were a painter, my lady. No. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Stop calling me Ekon. Yeah, exactly. Call me Jonathan. That's a, that's a better thing to say. Where's my mouse? Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? Mary was a murderous vampire. Yeah. Pretty unfortunate turn of events. 
My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I killed Mary twice. I don't really... Actually, I feel a lot better about... A lot better about the second time. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. I did not want that. That's a, that's a very odd conversation option right now. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying. And I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. Mm -hmm. My maker must be powerful. Is, it, is that a little bit showing off? I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? You seem timeless. I felt his power. Is there an option to say that he keeps showing up as a, a Satan dressed up and he keeps telling me some vague shit? Because that's exactly what's going on. I felt his power. He seemed timeless. I felt his power. Anyone who can do that is pretty powerful. I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend, are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. Yeah, she was actually better than me, being a vampire. All I do is heal myself and clap people in the face. That's not as special. My turn to ask questions. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters <laughs> and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. They're so damn formal. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make-believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Yep. We're just Please. sniffing tea. 
Call me Elizabeth. Mm. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Is this like a private uh, get together? I know it, it definitely has like a formal part to it, but I can't tell actually. Who are they? Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many? How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight Priv... Priven? I don't think so. I think they will... Okay. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprive them of a powerful weapon. Oh, I see. I impressed them. Why use you? Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Did they threaten you? Why not ask for help? Why not ask your help? Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first. But it is only logical, considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help? Since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself. You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. For I am a woman. Oh. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Well, why does it matter if you're an assassin? I think they just want me as muscle. Should I trust them? Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful. But I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Why meet them? Should I lie to them? Wow. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in this current situation. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. I see. They have always been a threat, were they? They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. And who is he? What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? How old is he? Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. Damn, that's pretty old-fashioned. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals? That, that's actually surprising. They are not all immortals. 
How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. I see. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. I will heed your advice. Like, we don't have much choice, I suppose. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Hmm. Priven and Ascalon will fight? Yeah, I don't really like the Priven guys. Will the guard of Priwen and the Ascalon Club fight each other? I doubt it. If Priwen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. Priven has a list? They do? I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt, they must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. You have to go. Should we fight back? Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. <laughs> but the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. I see. The Priven Club, well, the Privens don't really seem like a uh, very organized. They just like, hey, something's up. Let's kill a lot of people. What is the, a great hunt? What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. But how are they locating them so fast? Why start a second one? How, how did you survive? How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. They, but they must have it, right? Why start a second one? Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. Okay. You should flee then, exactly. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. What? <laughs> I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. I think she has a thing for there me. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. What's the plan? What is the plan? The plan is we both try to save this city, you and I. Go to Ascalon, accept their proposition, and use their influence to promote your agenda. What will you do? Yeah. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. I like the fact that we're kind of like a team. How can I save London? How can I save London? The epidemic is the priority. You must find its origin and put an end to it. This is the best way to solve the crisis. Will I ever find my maker? How could she answer that question? 
Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. But most of those fled England long ago. Was it you? How many times are you gonna ask that stupid question? Please forgive my bluntness, but I have to ask. Was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan. I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal. But I swear, I had nothing to do with it. No clue at all. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. Thanks. I must find the answers. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No. You will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Do you go to Pembroke? Like, she just said that, that she's gonna stay here. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for That's the time smart. being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. Okay. When will we meet again? When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. Thanks. I want to thank you for all your support and your help, my lady. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it Come is on. settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. You gotta call her thank Elizabeth. You. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling. To meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. That's a weird way to hit on me. Um, okay. I'm okay with it. Wow. So, we gotta find the Ascalon Club. So they didn't really say any specifics, where do I find them? Just, just that I have to, and I have to search for them. Where are they? The best end. Ascalon Club's leader and gain his trust. I guess that's what we're gonna, go, what we're gonna do next time. This is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching and have a good time.